dear students and shiva faculty of physics today in this session we are going to deal with the topic electrostatic potential energy in absolute form and differential form for eighth standard students before going to discuss this main topic we will recall some ideas based upon that topic so first of all here we can talk about what is the work done by the constant force consider the situation okay here you are seeing some surface this surface is smooth on the surface you are seeing one block say this block is resilient nothing but all parts of this block are moving in the same direction under the action of this force this force having the magnitude f and its direction in horizontal is theta nothing but this force is what in nature this is constant in nature okay under this constant force this object is moving from here to there nothing but the displacement of the object is yes and the direction of the object is towards right in this condition what is the work done by the constant force first of all recall that term what do you mean by work as we know whenever you can apply some force on the object then the energy transferred from one object to another object without having any some support suppose here you are seeing one chair on the chair you are applying some force by applying that force then what will happen the internal energy is stored in our body converts into the kinetic energy of the chair due to the force that we have applied nothing but what is simply the method of energy transfer from one object to another object via the external force acting on it at that time if that force is constant force how can you calculate the work done so i am showing this situation now so in this situation of f is constant and s is the displacement at that time how we can define our the work done w is equal to fs cos theta so here f is constant f is constant implies theta is a constant and s is the displacement so if theta is equal to 0 degrees what is w w is equal to fs the sign that you are seeing positive sign na nothing but the, this force is doing some energy transfer to the object suppose if you are taking theta is equal to 180 degrees then what is work done work done w is equal to cos 180 what is cos 180 minus 1 at that time it will become minus fs nothing but the applied force doing some negative work and the energy transferred from the object in this case energy transferred to the object in this case energy transferred from the object again if you are taking theta is equal to 90 degrees then in this situation what is the work done work done is equal to zero suppose in this case also you are seeing two forces na this is normal force this is gravitational force normal force direction perpendicular to the displacement gravitational force direction perpendicular to the displacement totally the work done by the normal force and gravitational force is equal to zero why the angle between the normal force or gravitational force with the direction of the displacement is 90 degrees that's why work done by the normal force or gravitational force we can say here zero so this is the information that we need to recall about the work done by the constant force suppose when the force is variable suppose sometimes we can see the force is dependent upon the position otherwise the force is dependent upon time the force is dependent upon velocity basically whenever you are seeing the force is variable at that time how can we define the work done by the force so in this session again here you are seeing one coordinate system suppose one particle here that particle positions we are defining as initial x coordinate as xi initial y coordinate as yi initial z coordinate as zi 
and finally these coordinates are changing from xi to xi changes to xf, ya changes to yf, zi again changes to zf. Under the action of some force, this force is what type of force? This is variable force. Okay. So under the action of this variable force, whenever the position is changes, at the time also what we have? We have some work done. How can we define the work done? So recall this work done by the variable force. Generally, we can calculate with the help of integration. The expression says integral x i to x f f x d x plus integral y a to y f f y d y plus integral z i to z f f z dz ok but one condition here fx fy fz are the vector components of the applied force that's why whenever you are using this formula remember fx fy fz must and should be substituted with sign so these are all so must and should be contained on Muscle should be substituted with sign. So don't substitute this one without sign. Whenever you are substituting fx, fy, fz, muscle should be observed. What is the sign that components of the force have? Either plus or minus. Substitute that components of the force along with its sign. Okay, this is about work done by the variable force. Now we'll come to the one more concept here: conservative force. So what do you mean by conservative force? Any force, we can say conservative force when these two conditions are satisfied. So, what is the first condition? Suppose you are seeing some closed path. So, for closed path, work done zero. For closed path, the net work done zero by that force, then that force is said to be conservative. Okay. So, again, whenever this first condition satisfied, second condition automatically becomes satisfied. The second condition is it is uh, position dependent and path independent. Okay? If these two conditions are satisfied for the given force, then automatically that force becomes conservative force. So any force is said to be conservative. When the net work done by the force around the closed path is zero and the force is position dependent. What is position dependent? Work done by the force. Work done by the force is position dependent and path independent. At that time, that force also said to be conservative force. Let us try to understand these two conditions with the help of one little example. Suppose here you are seeing one block. This block now we are throwing with some initial speed u. When the block now reaches the height, suppose I am saying this is maximum height, uh, this is labeled with the letter b. Whenever this block b reaches the maximum height, at that time what is zero? The velocity is zero. So at that time, what are the forces acting on this block? Only one force left. Suppose I am assuming there is no air. No air, nothing but the force exerted by the air also absent. So during the motion of the block now, the force acting on the block is mg, okay. So at that time, what is the work done by the gravitational force? Now for this figure, work done by the gravitational force, when the object is in motion from A to B, object is moving in the upward direction, but the gravitational force is acting in the downward direction, displacement is upward, but gravitational force is downward. So displacement upward, gravitational force is downward. Gravitational force also constant in nature, and the angle between gravitational force mg and the displacement h opposite na both are. That's why here what we can write work done by the gravitational force is equal to mg into. We are using this formula F s cos theta since mg is constant force. So mg into 
h into cos 180. So cos 180 is minus 1. That's why here what we can write minus m d h. So when the object is moving from A to B, the work done by the gravitational force is minus m d h. Again, here you are seeing this object again coming back. This object now coming from B to A. Still the gravitational force is acting in what direction? In the downward direction. At that time, what is the work done? Work done by the gravitational force when the object is coming from B to A. At that time, it will become gravitational force downward direction. Displacement also downward direction. That's why what we can write? mgh is equal to cos 0 degrees it will become plus mgh okay so what is the total work done therefore w net is equal to for the closed part w a to b plus w b to a that is equal to this value w a to b minus mgh it will be it will become plus m g h totally it will become zero okay so one more thing again here you need to remember the second point you are seeing that is position dependent path independent suppose here we are taking one little example to support this statement this is point a this is point b suppose due to the action of conservative force one object is moving along path one this path I am labeled as 1 along path 1. At that time, the work done by the, gravity, the, work done by the conservative force is delta. Then whatever may be the other path, suppose this is second path, this is third path. Whatever may be the path now that we are seeing here, if that paths are connecting to these points A and B, at that time, the work done along path 2 also delta the work done along path 3 also tends out. Nothing but when the force is conservative, automatically its work done depend on what positions only. It is independent of path. Whatever may be the path that you are seeing, for that paths, work done is automatically same. Okay, this is some idea about conservative force. Next, one more important thing here. Whenever you are seeing the presence of conservative force, at that time, definitely we have potential energy. Potential energy is the energy arises due to the action of the conservative force acting on the object whenever the object is changing its position. Means, when the change in the position of the object you are seeing under the presence of conservative force, at that time, there the energy existence totally what type of energy potential energy experimentally it was observed okay according to the experimental observation there what we have delta u is equal to minus w delta u is equal to minus w delta u indicates change in the potential energy w indicates work done by the conservative force nothing but change in the potential energy, whatever may be the type of potential energy, either gravitational potential energy, electrostatic potential energy, magnetic potential energy, whatever may be the type of potential energy, any change in the corresponding potential energy is always equal to the negative of the work done by the corresponding conservative force. Okay, I hope these uh, uh, key ideas you understood well in the next session by using these ideas we will design an expression for the calculation of electrostatic potential energy for two particle system or more than two particle system. I hope you understood this lecture well. In the next session, we will meet with one more uh, concept that is the of this topic only. Thank you for watching.